Hi everyone, my name is Rajashekar. Welcome to my channel. This video is about the version 2 of DMX previous template which I have prepared for you all. This version will have more features, groups and positions for you to test. People who are new to DMX lighting and Unreal Engine and Camsys, please check my basic tutorial in the order I have shared in the description of this video. And then get back to this one. I am also coming up with default DMX map template customized for people who wish to explore DMX lighting in a smaller map. Let's begin. This version of template which I prepared works for Unreal Engine 5.1 and above. Upon downloading the DMX previous project file and Camsys show file, keep a separate copy of it as a backup, install Camsys if you haven't and then place the Camsys show file in the following path which is your documents, magic queue folder and then the show folder. Open Unreal Engine previous map which I've shared you, run magic queue Camsys, go to file, open, load show and choose the previous tutorial dot show file which are placed in the documents folder. To my left is Unreal Engine previous map customized for Camsys and to my right is Camsys program loaded with show file which has all the DMX slide groups, positions and playbacks I have made. In Unreal Engine you can use the number keys from 1 to 9 to use the bookmark I have set for light positions. Without pressing play button you will be able to see the DMX light trigger from Camsys but for fireworks alone, you need to have the play button pressed. If you have installed camps for the first time, make sure to check the shots I've created for you to easily fix issues between Unreal Engine and Camps. The Camps layout might look different since I've changed the default setup. Here's details on the, all the three layouts. The layout one has single window which has all the master and individual group of lights for you to select and program. The layout 2 is a default 4 window layout which has light groups, positions, color and beam to choose from. The layout 3 has two pages. Page 1 has all the Sharpie lights on the set with possible positions I could think of. You can record more positions as you like. Page 2 has all the wash lights and its custom positions. You can jump to the second page for wash lights by either using scroll button on your mouse or just by clicking top and down you would be able to jump through different pages. You can change color or any attributes of a light only using layout 1 or 2. At any point you can change layout temporarily and work but do not record the layout as it would override what I've created for you. If you wish to change gobo or color of any light you will need to select the group from layout 1 or 2 and change it. Preferably for changing anything go to layout 2. I have about 5 pages of playbacks recorded in the fader below. You can customize them or record a new one. You will notice there is a music playback which rolls over to every page. I have kept that for you to practice timeline method. Avoid recording anything to music playback. There is a version of timeline tutorial in my channel. Check that to get the idea. I'll come up with better version on it soon. Do check out pin comment on that video where I would have corrected some mistakes on the video. To change color or gobo for any recorded playbacks you can follow this method. Clear screen and then press the button INC which is ink. Select the playback and it starts playing. Change color or any attribute you wish. And then press the UPD button which is update. Now you have modified playback easily. Follow this method to customize anything. To get access to this project file, check details on description of this video. Hope this video was helpful. I'll be sharing default DMX template sometime soon when it's ready. We haven't explored virtual production workflow, it's been quite some time now. I hope to update you all on it as well sometime soon. See you all soon on another video. I'm Raj Shekhar, over and out.